Hello, so I'm here to do my first ever Q&A, which is a question and answer. Um, I told my Tumblr people that I was going to do it a couple days ago and had them send in questions, so I'm going to try and answer them to the best of my ability. But not all of them because I don't have time, unfortunately. Um, what workouts do you do to get so amazingly fit? I love your blog so much and your body is literally my goal. Um, well, I'm currently strongman training. And I'm doing the Starting Strongman 12-week program. Highly recommend. You can email them and get it. Um, but for the last, like, two and a half years, I've been doing bodybuilding workouts. So I do splits of chest one day, back one day, legs one day, shoulders and core one day, and arms one day. Not in that order, but um, that's what I've been doing. And it seems to be working, but for the last six or seven weeks, I have not been doing that. So I've been doing my strongman. Um, what was the hardest part of competition prep for you? What was something important you learned about yourself before, during, and after your competition? I'm hoping to compete in the future and you're a huge inspiration for me. So the hardest part of prep was after prep for me at least. Um, prepping for a competition wasn't that hard. Um, in my opinion, for me, the way my brain and mind is set up. So yeah not being able to cheat um or like have whatever i wanted to eat kind of sucked but i feel like that any diet you're on you're gonna have to do that so having just a structure what i was supposed to eat every day was fine i loved the foods that i ate every day so that wasn't bad um i hated cardio at first but then i discovered that oh nika you can download netflix on your phone and so i just started watching cupcake wars or man versus food or something like that while doing cardio and I made it go by 10 times faster. Um, what did I learn about myself? Wow. Um, so before my comp, I didn't think that I could do it. I thought I was going to quit, but since I posted it on every social media and I feel like I had about 100,000 people supporting me or like holding me accountable, so that definitely helped. So I'm definitely thankful for social media and I don't know if I would do it if it wasn't for my following. I am like all the people that supported me along the way, thank you so much. I really, really couldn't have done it without you guys. Um, so during my competition, I learned that I hated competing. Um, so after prejudging, so if you guys don't know how bikini competitions work, there's a prejudging and a judging. It's all in the same day. Prejudging is in the morning and judging is the finale where like your parents and your friends come. But for prejudging, right after I did it, uh, so first of all, quick background of my show, it was extremely poorly organized and it should have been two days because everything was running three hours behind. There was about 700 athletes competing and so it was just a really big show. Um, for my posing, they didn't let us do routines. They literally let us walk in front, do a front pose, back pose off. And so everything that I've been practicing just went to shit really soon. So I didn't even get to show what I'd been working hard on, which I really didn't like. But um, so right after I, I finished prejudging, I texted my boyfriend and I was just like, I never want to compete again. He's like, oh my God, why? Blah, blah, blah. Because he competed and he really liked it. And I found myself comparing myself to other women and the other girls there. Um, so... I feel like for the last year, year and a half-ish, my whole goal has been to uplift other women and not to compete with them. And just to make, make my part in the fitness industry unlike other people's. Because I feel like a lot of people in this industry do, I mean, it's a dog versus dog like industry. So you're going to have to put some people down in order to get to the top. At least that's what, a lot of people do and I didn't want to be that way I just wanted to uplift others and because other people weren't there for me when I started out and I want to be that kind of person for other people and I want to be real and no bullshit and all that and um with competing what you're competing with other women you're not trying to be you're not trying to unify yourself with them you're trying to make yourself better than them and if some people love competing and that is totally awesome but it's not something for me and I really loved prep I just hated the, com the actual competition so maybe that's just because I had a really bad experience with it because my comp was so big I didn't make friends um 
I didn't place and a lot of people have smaller comps they make like the best friends in the world and they get first so obviously like they're gonna have a whole different experience than I did but for me I just didn't like it okay who next one um if you had a celeb crush who would it be both men and women I really don't have men crushes okay I lied Chris Hemsworth is definitely my cup of tea but I have a lot more girl crushes that are celebrities than boys but um, Olivia Wilde is at the top of that list and so is Angelina Jolie um do you want kids at all I do I want two boys and I think I'm gonna get them because I because Gypsy Magic told me, aka a palm reader and some little pencil thing. I don't know. I believe in it. But hopefully I will have two kids. Um, what are you most insecure about? Oh god. I'm insecure about a lot of things. Um, my body a lot, which for like the average person, I would say my body's good, but I don't compare I mean you're not supposed to compare yourself to anyone, but I don't compare myself to the average girl. I compare myself to Paige Hathaway and all these elite fitness models and obviously I fall short. So my body, I have huge ears. Um, I can be a snarky bitch sometimes. I'm really sassy and I don't know, whatever. I Overall, I like myself a lot, <laughs> if you couldn't tell. Um, all the countries you've been to. Oh God, so I live in America. Um, I've been to Mexico, to the Dominican Republic. Spain, France, Monaco, which is a province of France, I think. I don't know, it's its own separate country. Um, Italy, Croatia, Bosnia, Amsterdam, Belgium, Germany, London, or England, um, and Amsterdam's in the Netherlands. Wow, okay. I've just, I've been to most of the Western Europe nations. Let's just keep it at that way. Speak in Croatian, please. I want to hear it. Because I don't know what else to say. And someone asked me to make a video in Croatian, but my Croatian isn't that great. I mean, it's good, but my grammar sometimes is a little bit off, and I would prefer not to. Sorry. Um, I feel like I have some... What do supersets and drop sets mean and do, I'm sticking to standard weights, but I don't know what those mean and they sound cool and you're wicked at this kind of stuff. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, so technically a superset is when you do like one body part and then you do another body part or you work one muscle, then you work another muscle and okay, I don't and then you rest but in between those two muscle groups or two workouts you don't rest so for example a real superset is if you would do if you were to do push-ups and then right after you do push-ups you went and did rows and then after you did the push-ups and rows together then you rest for 30 to 60 seconds but what I like to call supersets are technically compound sets so they work the same muscle group but back to back and so it just like burns really really bad um so an example of this would be lat pull down supersetted with rows um because they both work your back but yeah um and then someone asked me about um what kind of set and range do you need to work in in order to maximize results but it's different for everybody um the like standard textbook definition for most of these things is if you're training for strength you do five sets of five if you are training for hypertrophy you do four sets of 12 ish 12 to 15 and then somewhere in the middle is three sets of 10 which maximizes both strength and muscle gains which is hypertrophy so do whatever you would like <laughs>